Evening, folks. I uh, wanted to give you a real quick gear talk video. Uh, this is a piece of kit that I've seen at several classes, uh, but up until a couple of classes ago, I hadn't have a ch had a chance to actually have my hands on one. And uh, I got to tell you, we all carry a bandana or a shema or something along those lines. And these are the Wazoo Survival Gear Foraging and tracking bandanas and uh, I gotta tell you I'm looking at this foraging uh, uh, bandana and it's got some really good quality illustrations of a bunch of common plants that are common in a lot of our operating areas uh, the illustrations are very high quality uh, these have both the common name and the Latin name of the plants. Uh, got a nice little key right here in the middle to tell you how to use the plant. Uh, it's got things like uh, must be cooked, uh, do not eat raw, or can be eaten raw, things like things like that. And uh, like I said, this is really high quality. Uh, it's a good it's a good quality cotton material, first of all, and it's got a, a lot of good information on it. Uh, if we're going to carry a bandana, it might as well have one more multifunctional use, right? And uh, I think these uh, these illustrations are actually high enough quality where you could uh, use them to get a really good idea. Of course, this is not a full-blown identification key on these plants, but uh, I think it would be a good thing for you to carry around and have. Uh... I'm not telling you you have to go buy them, okay? And uh, this is not a paid advertisement. Apparently, that's a thing in YouTube now. Uh, you're supposed to tell YouTube whether uh, somebody paid you to talk about the product. Nobody paid me to talk about this product. Uh, this thing is sweet. Uh, I like this. It's got prickly pear on here, and you, it's something you would, you would not think uh, is common to most of our areas. But I don't know much of any place that I've been... Uh, in the last six months or so, that people don't have prickly pear uh, planted in their landscape. Uh, so, it's got a lot of good information on it. Uh, I think it's something nice to have. This is their uh, tracking bandana. They actually sent me a couple of these too to take a look at it. And the good thing about these is, it's got some common animals for most of our operating areas. And the plant and the uh, paw prints, the illustrations, are pretty close to life size. Uh, so, if you're into that, it'd be good to have. Uh, you could just lay this right down next to a next to a print if you're thinking about it and say, "Yeah, it's pretty darn close." So, with that being said, oh, one more thing. The box came with some cool reading material on the inside. <clears throat> but anyhow. Uh, my buddy Dustin over, over at Wazoo Survival Gear sent, sent this to me. Uh, he was actually out of class and had one of the uh, one of the ones with the net on the back of it that uh, you could use as a foraging bag. And uh, that's actually one of those right here. But uh, it'd be a good piece of kit to have. It's, uh, like I said, multifunctional. And you just add one more function. It's a plant identification guide or a tracking guide. So, with that being said... I uh, hope to see you all in the woods. Thanks for your views. Thanks for your support. Uh, make sure you go to the main channel page and click over and look at a few of my friends' channels. And uh, I need to figure out why nobody's watching through to the end of my videos. I've got some good videos up. Well, they're not really that good. They're not, not compared to other channels. But an 8 minute and 33 plant uh, video, plant series video, and it's got 4 minutes and 33 seconds of uh, average view time. It means nobody's watching it all the way through to the end. Hmm. Makes me sad. It's going to be hard to get my view time up. But anyhow, y'all do what you want. I get bored. I get bored halfway through videos too. So talk to y'all. See you in the woods.